from pushing himself into GOAT debates to claiming he's better than any other player in their 20th season, LeBron James is the most hated NBA player of all time. No matter what the sport, the debate about who's the greatest player of all time is never quite settled. Be it soccer, tennis, Formula One, or the NBA. Before LeBron James arrived, there was only one undisputed GOAT, Michael Jordan. Many players grew up watching his airness do what was once considered impossible. Six finals, six rings. Not to mention the aura he played with. Those who grew up watching him couldn't argue that there was anyone better. But fans belonging to the previous generation were stunned. They'd seen some all-time greats like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, and many more. Yet there was something about MJ that truly set him apart. The most ironic thing about the sport is, we start searching for the next MJ, the next Kareem, or the next LeBron as soon as they're nearing the end of their careers. Kobe Bryant would become the spitting image of Michael Jordan, but it was never going to be as good. But then LeBron James came along. He didn't want to copy his hairness. He'd grown up watching him play, just like any other youngster. But LeBron was always a different player and wanted to blaze his own trail. 20 years later, it's safe to say that he's done that. If that's the case, then the important question is, why do people hate him so much? People have grown up supporting one player and being told that he's the GOAT. When another superstar comes along and does everything right, doubt starts to creep into their minds. They can't accept that someone else is better than the best player in the sport. Of course, a lot of that has to do with the fan base Jordan has built himself over two decades. Those fans refuse to acknowledge LeBron and downplay everything he did. But the cruel fact of the sporting world is that there can only be one player on that pedestal. And if you support him, you've got to downplay his impact. I'm not agreeing with this mindset, but that's how the world thinks and social media played a part in it. For MJ fans, there's no chance that LeBron could ever be better than their favorite player. For LeBron fans, it's the opposite. As a result, the four-time NBA champion has earned himself many haters. But that's not the only reason people hate him. Early on in his career, LeBron built a reputation for being a choker. To be considered the greatest player of all time, you've got to win rings and lots of them. However, if you don't deliver, fans will definitely find more reasons to hate you. It might seem unbelievable now, considering LeBron's been to more NBA Finals than other franchises, and he's won four rings in that time too but he was once considered someone who couldn't do it on the biggest stage. It was also true. The lowest point of his career came in the 2011 NBA Finals, when LeBron, the biggest enemy in the NBA, left the Cleveland Cavaliers after doing that whole The Decision episode. It was definitely something that deserved hatred since Braun himself regrets it. But it got worse when James failed to win the NBA during his first year in Miami and that was all his haters needed to come crawling out. LeBron had the perfect supporting cast, and he just froze, dropping a terrible performance in the finals. At that point, he had zero rings, and people quickly believed that he just wasn't built to last. Of course, he'd make them eat their words soon, though, but that just gave his haters another reason. In a way, LeBron found himself in exactly the same situation that Kevin Durant was stuck in for many years, or might still be stuck in if we're being honest. After winning two back-to-back -back rings in Miami, people questioned if LeBron was actually good enough to win a championship on his own. After all, he might have been the best player on that team, but Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh were superstars as well. As a result, people began criticizing him for taking the easier route to winning titles. Imagine being in a situation where you'll be hated regardless of whether you win or lose. After back-to-back -back championships, Miami Heat lost the next final to the San Antonio Spurs, and the hate brigade was out once again in full flow. Yet it didn't puncture LeBron's spirit, and he kept going and became a playoff monster. The man even went back to Cleveland and won a title with the Cavaliers, but he still never quite got the respect of his haters. 
Then came the next issue they had with LeBron. They believed that he made a lot of excuses and whined too much on the court. Despite spearheading the greatest comeback in NBA history, James remained a massively disliked player in the NBA. This time, the fans and even many players had issues with LeBron's growing influence in Cleveland. They didn't like the fact that players were being brought in and sent out on LeBron's say-so. Of course, it was slightly ironic because everyone remembers the influence Michael Jordan had. But fans claimed that it was wrong for LeBron to create a roster on his own. Things got worse when he got the players he wanted because his excuse was valid. He was competing against a super team, the Golden State Warriors, which won the most games in the regular season in NBA history. And they'd suddenly added one of the best scorers of all time, Kevin Durant. So LeBron wanted the Cavs to bring in other stars to ensure that the playing field was level. He got his wish, but still couldn't match the quality of the Warriors side, losing to them again. If that wasn't enough, there are also fans who believe that LeBron complains too much. I can't lie, even the biggest LeBron fans would agree with this. They believe he should get on with the game instead of spending his time whining to the referees. That just doesn't seem to sit right with fans. But the biggest reason LeBron is the most hated NBA player ever isn't any of these previous reasons. It's the most plausible explanation. LeBron James is the most dominant player to ever play, and fans along with players and analysts absolutely hate that. They can criticize him all they want, but the King has a legacy that puts other superstars to shame. He's never been involved in a scandal. As Charles Barkley said, LeBron has the best story in sporting history. From a high school prospect who people expected everything from, to coming good on those expectations and some, he also became the all-time scoring champion in NBA history, yet he's a pass-first player. Just look at the all-time assists leaderboard and you'll find him at fourth. He's been to 10 NBA Finals and he's had world-class performances against every franchise in the NBA. Boston fans have many reasons to hate him for the countless times he bullied the Celtics. And it's the same for the rest of the NBA. There isn't a franchise where LeBron hasn't scored 40 plus points. That's an outrageous stat. Then you factor in how LeBron is still going strong in his 20th season, having the best 20th season that any player in NBA history has ever had. It's not a surprise that MJ fans hate LeBron. They just don't want him to overshadow their GOAT. Unfortunately for them, LeBron has no plans of slowing down as he chases a fifth ring this season. This consistency is something that, for many, puts him ahead of Michael Jordan in the GOAT debate. It's also not too outrageous to think that he'll be dominating the league over the next few seasons as well. If that's the case, then the King will be able to do something that no other NBA player has ever managed. Not that he hasn't done that several times already. But this will be a personal achievement for LeBron, and he's got plans in place to do it. I'm sure when the time comes, fans will find a reason to hate him for it too. I'm talking about his plans to play in the NBA with his son, Bronny. Talk about taming the highest level of a sport to an extent where only you call the shots. No wonder he's the most hated NBA player of all time. So from being more dominant than anyone else to play the sport, to pushing himself into the GOAT debates, this was all from me on why LeBron James is the most hated NBA player ever.